the biggest tip I would give when, when trying to reach a really big goal or reach something that's kind of out your comfort zone and you're thinking, what the hell am I doing? Kind of the biggest advice I would give is to not scatter your focus so much, to, to really pick something, really pick something and go at it. Um, I mean, for six years, I did pretty much, I still only do pretty much nothing but bodybuilding. I go to the grocery store, I go to the gym, I come home, I eat my meals, I go to the gym, and I work the f hell out. Um, I, I think too many people are caught up in so many things, going to parties, going to this, doing that, doing this, doing that, watching TV, coming home, going to the gym, whatever, and they're not focused enough. And it really, 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 uh, and that's the biggest advice I would give is to kind of commit yourself. I mean, if you've got these really huge goals, it's not going to happen from being involved in so many different things. Um, I mean, um, to try to tell somebody what I did for six years when I was winning pro shows at 22, I mean, it's kind of uh, unbelievable if I were to tell people what the hell I did for six years. I did absolutely, still only do, absolutely pretty much nothing but work out and eat my meals. Um, I, I would drive two and a half hours to go to the gym and come home and go to bed and wake up and eat. and. Um, That's kind of the biggest advice I would give. I mean, you can say a lot of other things too, but uh, that would really is a focus thing. Um, I mean, if you got huge goals, you got to have huge focus. Uh, you got to master doing that, master going to the gym, master eating your meals. Don't miss meals. Don't skip meals. Don't slack on your workouts. Don't slack on your sets. Don't let yourself not do a set. Don't let yourself miss a day at the gym. When, when it's time to work legs, you work the fuck out of your legs. When it's time to rest, you rest and you focus on resting. You're not going to parties. You're not, you're not lost in other things. I mean, you gotta work, you gotta make money, yeah, but, but do you have to, you know, sit in front of the television? Do you have to go to parties? Do you have to, you know, uh, there's so many things you can get lost in, <coughs> in doing. Um, Focus is kind of the biggest thing, like a really, really, really neurotically obsessive focus. So. That's kind of what separates a lot of people that have done things that just amaze the hell out of people. It's a really, really obsessive, obsessive focus. It's not a do it when you want to or focus real hard this week and slack a little bit this week and then focus real hard again and slack again. It's, it's going to show in the result. You're gonna have iffy results. You've got to have a really, really obsessive, obsessive focus. Um, I don't know what else can be said. Uh, <coughs> It didn't matter to me what other people were doing. It didn't matter to me what other people thought about what I was doing. I know people thought what I was doing was insane as hell. People didn't get it. I lost every friend I had. I, I, my parents didn't get really what I was doing. My mother kind of caught on a little bit, but it took a while and people thought it was nuts as hell what I was doing. I, my friends thought I was nuts. They didn't think I was gonna reach the goals I had set. I didn't at times. It was really, really slow. It was really, really difficult. Um, It was really tough. I mean, it was really, really tough. It was nobody believed in what I was doing. It was really hard. It wasn't looking positive. I didn't get to where I got because of genetics. I had a hell of a time growing certain body parts. I didn't even have arms when I won my first pro show. Um, I had a really, really difficult time um, even getting on the stage. I mean, even just getting myself to get on the stage, it was, I had a really, really difficult time when I first started to just to get myself to do, do that. Um, uh, 
I was obsessive in my drive to make it happen. I did 11 shows in a year without thinking twice about it. I would go to the gym every single day. I'd never miss a meal. I'd never miss an ounce of food. I would eat till I threw up, and if I threw up, I'd eat more. And I would do that every day for six years. And I won a pro show, and I about killed myself to do it. And it didn't matter to me. I, I, it does now, and I wouldn't do that again. It's not worth it. I won a pro show and realized, well, it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it kill myself to do it again um, but I didn't get to where I'm at because of genetics and I, I didn't get to where I'm at because of the luck it was it was I was winning pro shows at 22 nobody else was close to my age and it was not because of luck it was not because of genetics I was doing things that nobody else was doing I nobody was working out like that. Nobody was that neurotic about it. Um, that's what it took for me to get there. Um, that's kind of the biggest advice I'd have is uh, really, really not scatter your focus. <coughs> really, um, go out with it. If you got goals that you want to be better than everybody else at it, <coughs> And they're putting in a lot of effort. you got to put in a lot of effort. It's not going to happen because of luck. It's not going to happen because of genetics. There's somebody else out there with good genetics who's maybe doing the same thing. <laughs> but you got to <coughs> find a way to go beyond. you got to find a way to push yourself harder. you got to go absolutely insane. And people are going to laugh. People are going to think you're nuts. People aren't going to get it. People are going to criticize you for it. People are going to think you're out of your mind. And it's going. you're going to start to... <coughs> believe it or sometimes you're not going to get it and one day you're going to step on stage and you're going to win a show you're going to do something whatever it is it's going to amaze the hell out of people and they're going to say how'd you do it how'd you do it it was years and years and years of just working your bass off <laughs> nobody really understood why nobody understood what you were doing nobody believed in what you were doing but it didn't matter because you <laughs> you saw what they didn't